Hi students, today's topic is lateral line system. Before going to the topic, please subscribe my channel. Press the bell icon for notifications. Like, share among your friends and comment. Lateral line system is a sensory system seen in vertebrates, mainly in fish and amphibians. The important role of lateral line system in these animals is the detection of stationary objects, navigation, prey detection, capture and in swimming in schools. The lateral line system is made up of neuromast. The receptor organ of the lateral line system is the neuromast. There are two types of neuromast. First one is canal neuromast which is located in the intradermal canal able to detect water flow acceleration. The second one is the superficial or free neuromast located in the intraepidermal canals can detect velocity. Next we can see the origin of lateral line system. Robert H. Denison explained the origin of lateral line system. Early vertebrate had a poor canal system in the dermis which function as primitive sensory system detecting water movement. Inner ear is closely related to lateral line system. Both inner ear and lateral line system originated from the ectodermal thickening. Let we can see the evolution of lateral line system. Evolution of the lateral line system. Early vertebrate fossils reveal that the pore canal system which consists of canals that lie below the dermis and pore canals which connect the canal that lie below the dermis to the surface. The pore canal system is present and developed in osteostraci which is a group of osteoderms. It is present in heterostasi which is another group of osteoderms and includes early vertebrates such as lungfishes and crossopterygians. As its presence is extensive, it is reasonable to suggest that the pore canal system was a primitive character in early vertebrates. The relationship between the pore canal system and the lateral line was first recognized in osteotracy. In transverse section, Canals that are located below the dermis in the pore canal system are difficult to distinguish from a lateral line canal. Both of these canals have a narrow opening and a basal part which is separated by a horizontal septum into an outer part that is filled with mucus and an inner part which consists of sensory cells and nerves. Here in this figure, it shows a transverse section of an osteostracian. This depicts the similar structure of the lateral line canal and a canal of the pore canal system. As the structure between these two systems is similar, it is determined that the lateral line was derived from pore canal system and then become a specialized part of it and later remain there. When we examine the structure of lateral line system, we can see that a row of small pores which lead into underlying lateral line canal. In the head, the lateral line canal is separated into three canals. One passes forward and above the eye, another forward and below the eye and the other one is below the jaw. The three canals have numerous pores and together with lateral line canal make lateral line system. Structure of the lateral line system. Epidermal structures called neuromast form the peripheral area of the lateral line. Neuromast consists of two, two types of cell, higher cells and supporting cell. Higher cells have an epidermal origin and each higher cell has one high kinocyte and 30 to 150 short stereocilia. The number of hair cells in each neuromast depend on its size and they can range from dozens to thousands. Hair cells can be oriented into opposite direction with each hair cell surrounded by supporting cells. 
at the basal part of each hair cell there are synaptic contact with afferent and efferent nerve fibers afferent fibers transmit signal to the neural centers of the lateral line and expand at the neuromas base the regulation of hair cells is achieved by the action of efferent fibers here is a diagram to show the lateral line system the lateral line canal is divided into three stems one passes forward and above the eye another forward and below the eye and the other downward and below the jaw black dot represent the location of the neuromast on the skin surface white dot on the brown line show the positions of the neuromas in sub epidermal lateral line canals stereocilia and kinocilium of hair cells are immersed into a cupula and are located above the surface of the sensory epithelium the cupula is created by a gel like media which is secreted by non receptor cells of the neuromas see in this figure lateral line of fish is shown the figure a shows the basic structure of neuromas and all its components in the figure b has cell depicting the innervation of afferent and efferent fibers modifications of the lateral line system the lateral line system of elasmobranchs is different to that of teleus fish elasmobranchs have superficial neuromas and two morphological classes of sub epidermal canal elasmobranch canal have skin pore that allow direct contact with the surrounding water they may also have absent skin pores which prevent the contact or canal fluid with the external environment in teleus fish hydrodynamic pressure differences at the skin pore cause fluid motion this result in pore canal neuromas being able to cipher the acceleration of external water flow near the skin and induce behaviors such as hydrodynamic imaging detection of prey and schooling in elasmobranch fishes other than prey detection the function of the lateral line pores and their neurophysical response is not at known sharks and betoid have a non pored canal which are located on the ventral body surface rostrum and around the mouth the absence of skin pore demonstrate that localized weak hydrodynamic flow which causes pressure differences will not produce canal fluid motion directly as it occurs in the pored canal systems here is the lateral line canal system on the dorsal and ventral surface of the atlantic stingray dacitis sabina solid line indicate neuromas free tubules which terminate in pores the other lines indicate canal sections which consist of innervated neuromas next one is the information processing how the information processing occur through lateral line system in all regions of the brain there are certain points which help for the information processing the information is provided by afferent nerve fibers and is sent to the brain via the lateral line nerve that enter the ipsilateral brain stem and terminate in the medial octovolateralis nucleus main primary lateral line projection reaches the ipsilateral cerebellar granular eminence while the second order of projection from the medial octavolateralis nucleus terminate in the lateral compartment of the torus semicircularis and in the deep layers of the optic tectum the final pathway for information processing is the relay of information from the midbrain to different diencephalic nuclei it is depicted in the following figure the function of lateral line system lateral line system is often described as touch at distance from the distance itself the animal can sense the objects or the water current or the velocity etc to detect water current and stimuli from moving objects and lateral line system can create hydrodynamic image that means the animal can get a clear image about its surroundings dear students we discussed about the lateral line system and its function that means lateral line system is a sensory system in fishes and amphibians help in schooling navigation and prey detection dear friends thank you for watching don't forget to leave a like and please subscribe my channel